Hello, my name is Gemma Harris and I'm one of the deputy head teachers here at School Teacher Ferris. What a year to have a child going through their GCSE results. We want you to know that we are doing everything we can to support your child and you through this process. You will undoubtedly have some questions and we hope that this presentation goes some way to answering them. Three key questions you may have are these. How will school award my child's grade? When will they know their grade? And how will my child and I know that grade is accurate? So to start, how will we award your child their grade? To award your child their GCSE or qualification this year, teachers will use a range of evidence to come up with the student's grades. It's purely based on evidence and fact. We can't award students grades based on what we think they could get or oh, we know what they mean. they mean, they mean to write this. It's got to be based on work that we can see that they have done. We'll only use content which has been taught. So if there are modules or units left over that we haven't taught yet because of lockdown pushing us back in our curriculum, we won't use this part. Just the work that teachers feel has been thoroughly understood and taught will be tested. We can use work from across the key stage four, so some right back to the beginning of year 11 if we need to. And throughout this term, we're going to give them lots of opportunities to shine, lots of chances for us to gather that evidence, lots of opportunities for these students to get the best grades they can. So what counts as evidence? What can we use? This big range of work we're going to use to give the children their grades. What actually is the evidence? In short, it's work that the student has done independently. So this can include any in-school formal exams we've run, such as their December PPEs, any in-class formal timed assessments that we may have gathered, any tests or assessments across the end of year 10 through year 11 that we know are independently produced by the student. And finally, in May, we're going to run some just check assessments their final effort, their final attempt at gathering some evidence that we can use to give them their grade. As I've mentioned, it's all about this term, giving students opportunities to shine, giving them opportunities in class to show us what they've got. So the plan is that for the next three weeks up until Easter, there'll be lots of teaching and lots of evidencing opportunities built into their lessons. They need to work hard on these assessments because if they're strong and they're secure, we can use them as part of our evidence. Then there'll be their two week Easter holiday. And as I said to year 11 in an assembly just this morning, their GCSEs haven't disappeared. They will still be, will awarded, will be awarded GCSEs. And so they still need to revise and practice to get as much out of them as they can. If you click on this link here that you can see, it will take you to a range of folders in their subjects with some revision material to support this. Because after Easter, there'll be three weeks until they have a go at a final Just Check assessment. Now these Just Check assessments will be run as formal assessments. They're like I say, their final shot between the 10th and 21st of May. The idea being that they've done some revision, they've prepared for content which we've taught thoroughly to give us an opportunity and give them the opportunity to get the best grades that they can. The question we get asked a lot in school from the students is, when will we know our grade? What grade are you going to give them, Miss? Now, like every other year, the children won't find out their final awarded grade for their subjects until their results day, which for your children is Thursday the 12th of August. Now, teachers may well feed back individual grades of pieces in these opportunity to shine assessments I've already spoken about, but that won't necessarily be their final grade. And that's because we have to consider the whole GCSE. And these mini assessments will only test little parts of the GCSE. And also because there's a huge moderation process. This is like a checking process that we have to go through to check that the evidence we have is strong enough and to check the grades we've given are accurate. 
So finally, how can we reassure you that the grade your child will receive is, is accurate and is ultimately the grade that they would have gotten had they sat the GCSE formally at the end of this year? There is, as I've already alluded to, a very rigorous process of moderation and checking. To start with, teachers at Trotheris have a proven track record of forecasting accurately. We know what we're doing and we understand our exams inside and out. We have experienced and senior examiners across school who we always use, but will do so this year more than ever, to validate and verify the grades. The evidence gathered will be moderated and checked, not just with the senior examiners in school and across the departments, but also across other schools so there can be no teacher bias. Finally, the Just Check assessments in May won't have students' names on, and so we'll be marking them blind, so again, there's no teacher bias at all, and the grade is accurate and true to what the student has written. We hope that goes some way to answering any questions you may have. But if we can offer any further clarity or you have any other questions, please do contact us. You will know Ms. Honor Renshaw, your head of year, or you can contact myself or Mr. Higginson as deputy head teachers. Ultimately, we want the best for your children. Yes, we want them to receive the grades they deserve, but we also want them to be safe, happy and motivated young men and women who will leave NT with wonderful memories and a spring in their step that propels them into the next part of their journeys with pride and confidence. Thank you for all you do to support us. We will get them there together.